Hello, welcome back. In our last lecture, we have installed XMPP, so which gives us Apache and MySQL. And if you have installed properly, you should have seen this XMPP control panel, and you should be able to start Apache and MySQL. I do not really need other services like FileZilla, Mercury, and Tomcat. So we need to ensure that Apache and MySQL are up and running. Once you have done this thing, so just you can always go back uh, and you can go to your uh, localhost slash xmpp and this will tell you what is the version of xmpp in this case version is 1.8.1 .1, and the php version that i am running is on 5.4.7 okay, you can go to this web page which is installing moodle and it is there where moodle community has given us all the detailed installation steps so i'm going to summarize all those things in this video for you so that if you follow the video religiously then you should be able to have moodle uh, up and running for which you need to run the test cases and here is a some uh, here are some key points so based on the module document you need minimum 160 MB of free hard disk and then you know even the 160 MB is there what is the requirement I would rather go for about 5 GB for a probably a realistic minimum because you know while running the test and all those things we might produce some files we might uh, you know we might create some data so for which uh, you know you go for 5 gigabyte of hard disk and if you want to do any backup like you know the course courses whatever being you, you are going to host in that learning, learning management system if you want to backup and all those things then you might need some more uh, uh, more more uh, hard disk but i don't have any intention of uh, testing anything that is related to the backups so you should be or you should not be worried about that the minimum ram that we need 256 mb ram but i think say one gigabyte is even more realistic and recommended all right then for the software and for the operating system we have already run on windows okay so this demonstration whatever i'm showing you is going to be on windows and for the web server it can run on apache or ies but we have already installed apache all right and then php we need minimum version of php is 5.3.2 okay? so the xmpp control panel says that the php is 5.4.7 and also you need a lot of PHP libraries and all these things and believe me what I have done in that LAMP stack whatever if you install the LAMP stack from in the, in the last class using this XMPP Win 32.1.81 installer then you should have installed all those libraries so no problem all right and then we need a database so we can run on any databases like whatever mentioned here but we have chosen MySQL and we are already running on MySQL 5.7 which is more than the minimum version so therefore we are also fine on MySQL so what I'm saying is that whatever the software requirements are already fulfilled if you are going to install XMPP 1.8.1 .1. alright so that is the reason why I told you in the last video that go for this packaged installer versus doing it yourself manually okay so so we have already taken care of all these things alright so this is how Moodle is going to have. So Moodle is going to run on Apache and then it requires a database and that database is MySQL. To install Moodle, you can go to this website moodle.org slash download and then you can, inst you can get the latest stable version by clicking on this. But what I have done, I have taken that default Moodle and then for our test purposes, what I have done, I have customized that Moodle. Okay. So therefore, if you going to install from Moodle here, it may not work as expected. So therefore, what I have done, I have created two packages for you, which you can download. The one, number one, is something called Moodle underscore MW. So Moodle underscore MW dot zip, download this, this, this zip file. And then you have to unzip into the Apache's document root directory. What is Apache's document root directory? So let's see that. So if I've installed my XMPP software under C colon XMPP, then stdocs is the Apache's document root. Okay. So how do I know that? That is what I configured. Okay. So for you, and then then this is not really a Apache administration class. So so what you need to do, you need to get that Moodle MW.zip and unzip here. That is a step one. Step two, I have another file called Moodle underscore db dot sql. Get this file and then run this thing in the database. 
and create a database named unzip this one into c slash x a m p p slash h t docs after you unzipping it after you unzip this thing on our ht docs one more directory will be created called ht docs slash model if this is the one then the next step is to check if things are working or not go to your browser go to localhost slash in that case what you are going to see you are going to see the module application so what i'm going to do i'm going to demonstrate all these things now all right so my first step my first step was download module mw.zip then put it on ht docs and then what you do just extract all and then just give c xmpp ht docs so let's extract and when you extract there is a directory called module will be created and the fi the files will be copied there so as i told you this is not a very simple application it's about around 12000 files are there so it takes some time to to cop to to unzip and copy it so while this thing is happening while this copying copying is going on let's go go to one more step we need to we need to create a database and and run this sql file and if you run, if you see this sql file this sql file is basically consist of some kind of create table insert into some data and all those things okay so that is what i am going to do now i am going to create my database go to the xmpp control panel and you should see something cell click on that so that you get a command line so that you can so, so that you can give the commands to the mysql server the first step is mysql minus u that means i want to connect to mysql using root user and i do not have any password for root user that is null so just just enter nothing so now we are seeing mysql prompt thing i need to create a database so command is create database and let's say that database name is moodle all right so one one so that moodle moodle database is created then i'm going to use that moodle moodle database then i'm going to run this script the complete path to the script is so i copy this thing and utter it so basically i have to and this is a command called source slash and the file name is moodle bp.sql so now if i run this thing basically all this queries will be executed okay so all the all the queries got executed and now we have a database and that database name is moodle with all those objects so now my database is ready and i'm just waiting for my application for my for my php application to be copied and looks like i am almost there so it looks like no, yeah so it's now done so one thing that you need to check once you copy everything in xmpp stdocs module there will be a file called config.php the file is going to look like this so here all these parameters are populated and everything is have already done only one thing that you need to do this is the data directory that means moodle requires a temporary data directory to run and i have created a a directory called moodle data under c xmpp all right so that i have already created and this is what it is c xmpp and something called moodle data so this directory i have already created so if you have not created then you just go and create that one all right so that is one more step that we need to do create moodle data we are almost ready and we have installed moodle and also we have installed the database that is required for the moodle let's go and check if things are working or not so i go to localhost slash moodle yeah so it looks like you know the courses are created and then these are demo courses that i have created for my testing purpose if you want to install moodle by following by downloading this thing you may not see exactly what i'm saying that means you definitely are not going to see this demo course and this demo course has a lot of things that i have customized so that so that we can we can test the product properly okay so therefore you have a option to download it and i think it's better a good idea to take the to take whatever i am giving on my website for setting up your environment all right and then just see just do a login we have 
uh, admin user already already created and the, the, the password is welcome one explanation and this is w the capital okay so we will be login and here is your first course it's a demo course and you can just check you know so these are the things that i have already created and all these things is important because you need to you need these things for your further testing so with this so you can you can install module on a xmpp tech stack and you should be able to ready for testing